Today I'm going to be talking about the skeletal system of the human body using the model Big Ten. I'm going to talk about the skull first. The front of the skull is the frontal bone. Now on the side and top here is the parietal bone. Where the temples are is the temporal bone. And on the back of Tim we have the occipital bone. Now looking down the vertebrae of Tim, the first seven vertebrae are the cervical vertebrae. The next 12 vertebrae are the thoracic vertebrae. The next five vertebrae, the lumbar vertebrae. And the next five are a set of five fused vertebrae, which make up the sacrum. And a set of four fused vertebrae make up the coccyx. Also on the back side of Tim, we have the scapula bones. Turning Tim around, we have the clavicle bone, the sacrum, which is made up of the manubrium, the body, and the xiphoid bone. We have the ribs here with two floating ribs here on the bottom. Now starting with the limbs, we have the humerus bone, which connects the bottom of the arm, which is the ulna. Next to the ulna is the radius followed by the carpals of the hand, metacarpals, and the phalanges. Now on the bottom side of Tim, we have the hip bone, which is three fused bones together, called the os coccyx, made up of the ilium here, ischium here, and the pubis. Below the hip bone, we have the femur bone, and the kneecap here, which is known as the patella, the tibia, the fibula, and here we have the heel bone, which is the calcaneus, and we have the tarsals here, metatarsals, and the phalanges of the foot. That is the end of the skeletal system of Big Ten.